Hey there, welcome to Craft Central Designs. My name is Dwen, and I'm so pleased you stopped by my channel today. I have for you this tutorial, a patriotic clothespin wreath. And the beauty of this wreath, other than its obvious beauty, is that you can use this wreath in your decor for multiple holidays throughout the year. Welcome to all to my channel today, and if you're not currently a subscriber, I hope you will consider becoming one, and as well, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and leave me your comments. This helps my channel to grow, and I really appreciate that. Okay, let me show you how I made this beautiful patriotic wreath. I have here a 14-inch wire wreath frame from the Dollar Tree. And I took this wreath frame outside and spray painted it white. I have some uh, clothes pins uh, on the wreath, as you can see there, but uh, we'll go into the details of that in just a bit. I have here some wooden clothes pins from the Dollar Tree. I purchased three packages of the regular size uh, wooden clothes pins. And I have here uh, some clothespins that I prepared by spray painting them uh, white and red. And I'll go into the detail of that in just a bit. I have here a can of this color shot red spray paint in the color stiletto. Now, I've had this in my uh paint supply stash for like a year and I don't recall exactly where I bought it but I think it was either Walmart or Home Depot. I also have here some acrylic paint. I have one in white and that beautiful blue that you see on the clothespins there applied to that wreath. I purchased two packages of these stars in the um the uh patriotic item department at Hobby Lobby and everything is 40% off and I purchased two packages because I needed uh, the two inch stars there's actually multiple uh, size stars in that package so you could use the remainder for maybe perhaps another project so as I mentioned um, these blue um, clothes pins I painted, but I painted them with uh, acrylic paint uh, from a bottle. And I would suggest that you purchase a can of the blue spray paint. It makes the process go much faster. I just didn't happen to have that on hand, so I uh, painted mine uh, with a paintbrush. And I just uh, a adhered them to um, a piece of cardboard and just took a paintbrush and painted them. I mean, it's very doable. It's just that it's easier if you can spray paint your clothespins. I have here this sign that I purchased from craftoutlet.com. It's got a bit of a farmhouse uh, style finish. So I did go over that uh, later on with a little bit of my acrylic paint just to um, fill it in a bit. I wanted more mine to look a little bit more of solid colors. I have there some um, pipe cleaners and a ribbon that I just showed you in the patriotic theme, which I purchased at Hobby Lobby. You could purchase this type of ribbon as well on craftoutlet.com or on Amazon. And I have there a paintbrush as well. Now, this is how I applied my uh, clothespins. I cut out a piece of cardboard and I put my all my clothespins on and I just took them outside and spray painted them. I gave two coats to the white and the red covered very well with just one coat. Now I'm going to paint my stars. These stars are two inches wide. You could find something to suffice for this part, um, probably uh, from the Dollar Tree. I just preferred to use some wooden ones and paint them. But you may be able to find some other type of star which will uh, 
suffice for this. Uh, you're just going to be applying the stars to the blue portion of this wreath. Now I took um, all of my blue clothespins and applied them to the wreath frame. And I used a little bit less than a quarter of that wreath frame for the blue clothespins. The remainder is going to be red and white uh, striped, if you will, with the clothespins. And I'll be showing you that uh, shortly. I used my uh, second wire from the inside to apply my uh, inner layer, as you can see there. And then for my outer layer, I used the outside wire. Now, I, for my particular wreath, I mean, you do you, however you would like to do yours, I used three clothespins for the red section on the inner wire, and then three clothespins attached to the outer wire. Now, I did go ahead and apply all of my clothespins just to be sure that I had uh, everything is solidly covered, if you will, with, with the clothespins. This is the first time I have ever done a clothespin wreath, so I was kind of feeling my way along as I did it and just figuring things out as I normally do when I fly by the seat of my pants when I do a, a new craft, which is something I absolutely love to do. Uh, is figure things out as I go along. Okay, so for the next section, I'm going to use three clothespins on the outer wire and then three clothespins on the inner wire. Now, I figured out as I went along that it was easier to apply the clothespins on the inner wire first and then the outer wire but it's very doable either way. Um, I just kind of discovered that it it was a little bit easier uh, in the application if I did it uh, with the inner wire first. Now I'm going to put all of my clothespins on and then I'm going to go around and use hot glue to make sure that all of those clothespins are uh, sturdy on there because they will a wobble around until you do that process because they're just kind of sitting on the wire those clothespins so uh, you're going to have to go around and um, adhere those with some hot glue so here I am doing section by section of the um, clothespins three red three white then three red all the way around the wreath now, I'll put this in the description box, but I used 48 white clothespins, 48 red clothespins, and 38 blue clothespins. And again, I'll put that in the description box. So when you're doing your spray painting, you need to be sure to have the correct number of clothespins if you're going to create your wreath exactly like I am here in this tutorial. So I went ahead and I completed um, applying my clothespins all the way around the wreath. And now I'm going to make my bow. And of course there is a bow involved. Now this is a very pretty ribbon that I purchased um, at Hobby Lobby. But as I mentioned, it, there's so many patriotic ribbons um, out there craftoutlet.com has beautiful ones. You can find them on Amazon just by typing in a search for patriotic ribbons, red, white, and blue ribbons. This is a 2.5 inch ribbon and it was 40% off at Hobby Lobby in their patriotic item uh, department. I'm going to be creating a four loop bow each of my loops are around nine and a half to 10 inches. And I use my uh, method that I always use to create bows. I fold over my loops, twist my ribbon, 
hold, pinch and hold it in the center to hold my loops. Two loops on each side. Then I'm going to be creating one loop that goes right down the center. Now on my final wreath, I ended up adding a bow that had three uh, loops on each side as opposed to the two. Um, and again, like I said, um, I determine everything that I'm going to do on a wreath as I go along. And after I had the uh, wreath all finished, I just felt like a three loop on each side bow or six loops all together filled up that um, wreath a little bit more to my liking. So here you'll see me doing a four loop bow. But if you would like to have a little bit fuller bow like I did, just add another loop on each side. It's all done the same method, just adding one more loop instead of having two. You can add uh, three loops on each side. And I just felt it was um, a nicer looking bow like that. All right, so uh, what I did additionally is I did a, a single loop sitting on top of the double um, loops that you see there. So if you're doing a three loop bow, you're just putting a single loop resting on top of three loops. Now I make this loop a little bit smaller. I want to say around eight inches. So you can see that it's just resting on top of the loops that were nine and a half to 10 inches. This is a little bit fuller bow that I'm doing uh, for this wreath today. And I use a pipe cleaner and put it right down the center. Now I do have bow tutorials. I have multiple bow tutorials that I take it uh, very slow and methodical so that you can learn to do bows like I do. You can as well use a bow dabra or an easy bow maker. That's up to you. Um, I prefer to do all of my bows um, by hand. Okay, so I'm going to create a simple uh, single loop going right down the center. So all I do is just fold my loop under, catch it with my thumb there, keep hold it in the center until I reach around the back and get a pipe cleaner tail from the back side, poke it through the center loop, bring it around the back and give it a twist. Twist it in the back. And now you're going to have the tail coming out the top. So all you have to do is simply detach or cut the um, ribbon off from the spool. And you're going to take that tail that's on the top and poke it through the center loop. Marry up the tails on the bottom and you have a beautiful patriotic bow. The one you see here is the two larger loops on each side with a little bit smaller loop resting on top of that. And like I said, I ultimately uh, added a third loop, I actually did another bow, um, and I created three loops, three of the larger loops, and then one single loop resting on top, and then this single loop that goes right down the center. This will all make more sense if you uh, take the time to look at the bow tutorials that are done very slow and methodical if you would like to learn to make bows like I do. I'm going to be angling my tails and I will determine exactly how long I want my tails once I have it actually on the clothespin wreath. Now I did make another bow, a smaller bow with the loops at eight inches two loops on each side and one single loop down the center. Made exactly the same way, just a smaller bow that I ended up applying to the sign. And you'll see that in a bit. So I have two bows on this wreath, one larger and one a little bit smaller. Now I'm just preparing my sign, putting uh, some pipe cleaners uh, on the back full-size pipe cleaners 
And I also use Aileen's Tacky Glue. And I put a piece of felt down because I want this sign to be held securely onto this wreath. And I'm showing you here how beautiful this turned out. And using the number of clothespins that I mentioned before and that you will see in the description box, we'll fill this wreath frame up and have everything evenly distributed. Now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and in on the inside of the clothespins where they will rest on the wreath wire, I put hot glue. And I'm going to go around the entire wreath. And no, this does not take forever. It's actually a pretty quick process. Just pull each clothespin off, put some hot glue, and attach it to the wreath frame. And this is going to um, help to keep those clothespins from bobbling around. In particular, when you're handling it, obviously, if it's on the door, they're not going to be doing that. But um, it's just easier to secure them so you don't have to be concerned about it. And you can see here that I'm just reapplying my clothespins, making sure they're straight and aligned by simply applying some hot glue on the inside of the clothespin where it's going to rest on the wire wreath frame. And now I have my sign. And as I mentioned, I wanted my sign a little bit more filled in uh, rather than to have it distressed. Now you do you, perhaps you want that look and that's fine. Um, this was just my choice for my sign. Now I'm going to be resting that sign that I'm using um, off to a little bit to the right of the midline of that wreath. With my blue uh, area of the wreath frame with the stars on the left, upper left side. Now you do you, you may want to use another sign. There's certainly plenty of them uh, out there. Check out Dollar Tree. They have a lot of um, patriotic items as well. So I am going to be applying my stars now, and I'm going to use Aileen's Tacky Glue for that. This wreath is definitely going to be on the outside, and it's in Florida where it's going to be hanging on a door. So I have to be mindful of um, keeping everything a attached to the wreath. Now I applied my um, bow by taking the pipe cleaners on the back and just feeding those pipe cleaners through a space on that wreath frame and twisting the pipe cleaner in the back. And I did the very same thing for the sign. I also did one more thing to my sign. I gave it a spray of clear acrylic just to give it a little bit of a shine that coordinated better with the little bit of shine on the clothespins once they were painted. And now here's that extra a bow that I mentioned, four loop bow with a single loop going down the center. And it's a little bit smaller, as you can see, than the other uh, bow that I made. I felt that the, the wreath needed a little bit more balance. And so I decided to take that patriotic ribbon and just make a little bit smaller bow. And I'm going to just be Aileen tacky gluing it on and adding a little bit of hot glue as well. And I was certain to um, make sure that I didn't cover up any of the welcome sign. This is a very easy wreath to make. And if you have issues with um, creating a bow, like I mentioned, the uh, there are helpful tools out there, the Bodabra, the, uh, the Easy Bow Maker, or you could just watch my tutorials and learn how to make bows like I do. You won't be sorry. Spend the time to sit and try and do that. Look at this pretty wreath. 
This is beautiful. You can use it on your door for multiple holidays throughout the year. And I just love the way it turned out. My first clothespin wreath, and I love it. And I hope you do too. Leave me your comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this wreath. And if you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you can see my videos posted weekly. Okay, until next time, you all take care.